What is up guys and welcome back. Okay, we've got another three-in-one guide here. This is going to be for the Chaz Car Derby. Now these things are scattered everywhere and you can't actually see on your focus, when you do your focus, how many there are. So I just kind of flew around with the little um, indicator on and I got them all wrapped up for you. So we're going to start off at the entrance and then we're going to head to our um, Icarus. First one's going to be right there. There are tons more videos coming out on the Nightmare Mode. I've been recording quite relentlessly and there's some just such amazing battles it's so much better on the more difficult mode um, the bosses are actually a bit more challenging but um, the, the highest one I've only done is like seven or eight and I haven't even looked at a ten yet I'm, I want to max my character out completely and then have a look at that shit okay back to this there's another another pad right here and now are we gonna take to the sky so we're now looking down at the entrance where we just were and now we're going to fly around from here. It's going to be scattered little places like this all around the track that you kind of have to fly to. I mean, you probably could drive to as well, but uh, a lot easier with the, the flight. You get a container right over there. Okay, from the entrance again. We're going to go right down here. There's going to be another one right here. I'd probably recommend coming to these um, locations later on until you get more out of the uh, containers, like more Faltrite and more uh, lucky bonuses. Because uh, there's lots of perks that allow you to get a lot more out of these containers. So kind of opening them up first or opening them now is a, it might be a bit of a waste but um, the areas like the hideouts and stuff that you have to collect just to clear them out but these ones they're open world pretty much is what I call them okay so I eventually landed there it took a while and we're gonna grab one container right here and then from that position on there's gonna be another you can see them right there Almost made the jump. Okay, there's a couple more on the other side. So now again, back at the entrance. We're going to take back right and there's going to be one over here. And I fly straight into the sign. It was intentional. <laughs> okay, one container right here. And then there's going to be one more just past it as well. There's some cool loot just lying there in the open world. See, I'm only getting 130 now. At the moment, I'm getting over 400 per uh, Feltrite container. And there's just more chance of Feltrite actually spawning in the container because you can get money as well. All right, we're going to head to Dreadwood. This is going to be far up north in the wilds. I only just got here now on my nightmare difficulty. And I'm busy scouting, so I'll just take the Icarus and I'll just fly down all the roads. And second, you see a question mark go activate it or go see what it is and then keep on flying and it gives you a much better idea of what you're dealing with and you're able to choose the uh, least strong ones the weakest ones if you will I forgot where this pad was but he was right here in the end and there's quite a few in a very close proximity like some of the towns are next one's going to be right over here and one more before we ascend and grab two more next week there's going to be a timeline in the description as well, guys, on uh, the three locations. Because the videos I'm going to put out now are going to be like 10 or 15 areas in one video. But they're all going to be relatively easy. I just I have to have them all. I have to do them all. And then I want to move heavily onto the Nightmare. I've done a lot of the uh, Routine Nest and Crusher Nest on Nightmare, and it's so much fun. All right, we are in Oasis. Looking at that mission marker there on the bottom left, I've actually killed the last boss. And I went into that one, and then you get the scene where he kills the Clegg guy, even after he's dead. So there's a serious problem with that. Like it, uh, it allows you to do one mission when you should do another one first. There is the first one there, and the second one right behind you. And then there's only one more I could find here, and that's going to be in the shop here. Or the bar. Right over there. Alright guys, plenty more collectibles on the way, a lot of nightmare stuff coming as well. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.